Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're examining, should you pay up for a higher proof version of the same bourbon? And what better place to start than Maker's Mark 46, the adored wood-finished weeder. So, let's take a look at the two bottles tonight. First up, thanks to my pal Jimmy for this, a hosting gift for a party. Maker's Mark 46 French Oak finished with 10 staves in it. And you might say, well, that bottle looks odd. This is the new bottle shape for 2022. Look at this beautiful label here. It says, French Oak Bill's Recipe number 46. Where it gets the name from, Maker's Mark 46. Ten virgin French Oak staves. And this comes in at 47% alcohol by volume, which is compute, compute, 94 proof. So 94 proof on this bad boy. A little writing on the side here says, Bill Jr. finished his expression with virgin French oak staves for extra wood spice, bolder notes of vanilla and caramel, and a longer finish. It was stave profile number 46 that did the trick. So there you go. That's, uh, that's our low proof option. Bring in the heat tonight is Maker's Mark 46 cast strength. Coming in at 110.3, compute, compute, 55.15% alcohol by volume. Uh, this is a 375. It came in their uh, Generations of Proof tasting set. I believe they come out with those maybe every year, but um, if you see one of those, pick them up. You get, you get this one, uh, a, a store pick, as well as uh, just a regular cash string. It's good value, usually. So, I've been enjoying this one quite a bit. So, there you have it. So... In PA, the cast strength is 60 doll hairs, 59.99, and the Maker's Mark 46, the regular, is 39.99. So there's a 20 dollar bill here, difference between the two. Obviously, the more expensive one is higher proof. So we'll see tonight. A, if I can guess which one is which, I should be able to with the proof difference. Um, but hey, stranger things have happened. We'll give you notes for each. And we'll say, if, is the higher proof one worth more? We'll find out. So my wife did pour these blind. So we'll start with the classic gold Glencairn. Let's give it a whiff. Oh, man. Just, I think this is the high proof one. Our, our, I mean, it smells a little proofy. I just get like a deep caramel in here. There's oak, there's caramel, there's vanilla. I'd say it's vanilla and caramel with like an oak backbone to it. A little bit of that weeder funk you can smell. I get the like that dry wood note perhaps. Let's take a sip. That is phenomenal, just good spice up front. The caramel and the vanilla through the mid palate and then just ends with with like some sweet vanilla and perhaps even a little fruit notes through the back. Long finish. Not overly powerful, but there is a good little bit of heat to it there. I, I think this might be the cash strength, but this is delicious. But we'll wait till we taste the other one. We'll see if we can find a difference. All right, the blue glass. Let's take a sniff. Okay, so there's less pronounced caramel in this one. There's more just like that dank weeder funk, like a little, little musty wood. Second whiff, though, the caramel now is coming through a little stronger. This one smells a little darker, I'll be honest. There's, there's just a little bit more of like a, a wood and like a deeper caramel to this one. Smells, smells great. Let's take a sip. Very similar on the palate to the, the uh, Gold Glencairn there. The spice though up front is subdued. There's more, uh, there's just more like 
softer caramel through there. I lose kind of the wood and that, that, that like sweet and long finish kind of dissipates quicker. But overall, very crushable and enjoyable. This one definitely drinks lower proof. So I believe this is the Maker's Mark 46 at 97 and the gold is the cask. All right, let's grab the answer key and find out if I was right. All right, the winner in the gold, Maker's Mark 46 cask. So the blue was uh, the Maker's Mark 46. Both excellent pours. Although I would say the cask is better, marginally so. I mean, it's just, it. they do bring very similar flavors, but we just, we're just up in the ante with some extra spice, some, that little bit of sweet and a longer ending with, but other than that, very similar um, flavor profile. If you like the Maker's Mark 46 and you've not tried Maker's Mark Cast 46, go buy a bottle. You will enjoy it. At only $20 more for the full 750s, that is, I would say it is a buy if you enjoy a little bit of a higher proof. Also, if you enjoy Maker's Mark 46, but you're looking to kind of expand beyond that, but you like the Maker's Profile, Maker's Mark 46 cash strength is a good buy, and it is worth the additional $20. But both of these are excellent buys. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Have a great evening, everybody.